Returning to our Facing the Fall coverage, in Southeast Georgia, many districts are rolling out school reopening plans, and over the next 90 minutes, we'll tackle three counties. Right now, we're starting with Brantley. News 4 Jacks reporter Brittany Muller is joining us in the newsroom with what parents need to know. Brittany. Mary, Brantley Schools plan to reopen school on Tuesday, August 4th. It says the parent survey from last month showed the overwhelming majority of the parents are ready for students to return to the classroom in August with increased safety measures. Superintendent Dr. Kim Morgan said the district's intentions are to start school on the 4th with face-to-face -face learning on a traditional schedule. Still, there is a possibility of a hybrid schedule or at-home virtual school depending on the community spread of the virus and restrictions placed on schools at any given time during the school year. Will you be sending your, your son back to in-person learning in the fall on August when school resumes? No, ma'am, we will not. My son has an autoimmune disease. Um, he has um, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis and Sjogren's syndrome, and um, he is more prone to infection. Elsie Cribb says her son Dalton is going into 11th grade and with only one high school in the district, she says she's concerned with social distancing. Brantley School says a virtual option will be made available to families who will not be sending their children back to school in August. To me, they're overloaded in the high school. They will not be able to keep them six feet apart. Brantley Schools shared this on Facebook, saying along with the guidance from the Georgia Department of Health, the governor's office, Georgia Department of Education, and local and surrounding area doctors and pediatricians, our school leaders are committed to implementing safety measures that will help decrease the spread of germs. Cribs also is concerned with the issue of transportation. Transportation, a lot of people cannot take their child back into the school they ride the bus. Do they have that worked out? How many is going to ride that bus? Brantley School says its goal is to share reopening plans and additional safety measures by July 15th. It also says the virtual school registration process will be ready by July 20th for those students who will learn through virtual school. And coming up at 6, the reopening plans for Ware County Schools and what parents need to know if they have questions ahead of the virtual information session on July 16th. Tom? Brittany, thanks. To get new information on school reopenings, sign up for our Facing the Fall newsletter. In the latest edition, you'll find an article about the city of Jacksonville offering free COVID-19 testing for public schools, students, and employees. You'll also find a place for you to ask questions. To sign up, go to newsforjax.com newsletters.